receiving 177,600 doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccine, being part of the 29,850,000 doses that the federal government of Nigeria procured from the African Union through the AVAT platform. Today, we appreciate the role that the African Bank has played to make this procurement a reality. The balance of the vaccines will be delivered over the coming months, but we're glad to hear that before the end of August, the total quantity of vaccine that we'll be receiving is 173,132. We have the capacity to store and distribute this vaccine all the way to the point of administration as we have working freezers in all 36 states plus the federal capital territory. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is stored at temperatures of plus 2 degrees Celsius to plus 8 degrees Celsius which is the temperature in which most of our routine immunization vaccines are stored. Because it is a one-dose effective vaccine, these doses will be focused on those who are in the hard-to-reach areas, that is to say the riverine areas, desert communities, security com compromised areas, and also the elderly. This is because these are the people who may find it difficult to leave their homes to the health facility for the second dose after taking a first one. So we're going to be optimizing these doses that we've received for these people that are usually vulnerable and live, live in the most hard to reach areas. As a result of the leadership provided by the Presidential Steering Committee, the Federal Ministry of Health, MPH, CDA, in collaboration with our partners, we have mapped out the best strategies in targeting different segments of our population because of the vulnerability in the age and geographic constraints. We are collaborating with the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning through the Green 3 uh, project to map out using geographic information systems to understand where this population exists so that we can also devise ways of reaching them. Let me emphasize that the Nigeria government is committed to safe, equitable, and effective COVID-19 vaccination of all eligible persons in the, in the country. The availability of different vaccine brands does not in any way mean that some categories of people are being selected for high-quality vaccines while others are targeted for low-quality vaccines. All COVID-19 vaccines approved by the World Health Organization and NAVDAQ are safe and can deliver adequate protection against COVID-19 vaccine, against COVID-19. You are aware from all of the data that is coming from different countries that COVID-19 vaccines protect against severe forms of the disease, hospitalization, and deaths. The different vaccines have exactly the same ability to protect against the disease. The different proportions or percentages in terms of efficacy depends on the type of clinical trials and the populations that have been accessed. However, these vaccines have been proven to protect against COVID-19. So please take the opportunity of going to the designated healthcare centers to get your vaccines. We will continue to count on you, the media, for dissemination of true and accurate information to keep Nigerians informed and educated about COVID-19 vaccination. We also hope that those who are misinforming people will begin to understand the need for Nigeria and the rest of the world to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic and recover from the adversities it has imposed on our economies and social lives. Today, we are yet again witnessing the symbol of effectiveness of Nigerian preparedness and readiness to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. We are happy to witness the arrival of 177,000 
600 Johnson & Johnson vaccine, another landmark event in Nigeria's response to COVID-19 pandemic. Of note, Nigerian response to COVID-19 pandemic has been widely acclaimed by many as one of the most successful so far in the world. And Nigeria was, was ranked fourth among the top 10 most effective response to COVID-19. WHO had on many occasions commended the government of Nigeria, particularly the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19, on the successful completion on the first phase of the COVID-19 vaccination rollout. May I also and use this opportunity to congratulate the ED of MPCDHA and the Nigerian government for your forethought uh, and preparedness to procure 29.8 million doses of Johnson & Johnson through the AFAD facility. Without that anticipation and forethought and good planning, we wouldn't see this, uh, these doses 177 Johnson Johnson doses come in today. And as uh, my colleague has said, that they will come in on a regular basis over the next few months. But finally, and, and importantly through uh, you, the media, uh, is to say to all people in Nigeria, last week we received uh, the Moderna vaccines today, the Johnson Johnson vaccines. Next week we will receive more AstraZeneca vaccines. They are coming in on a regular basis. This is the time to step up and get vaccinated, to take your responsibility, whether you're an individual, whether you're a religious leader, a traditional leader, or a governor, is to encourage all your people to take the vaccines as quickly and as timely as is possible in an orderly fashion. The